uh, hello again YouTube DV here you might be wondering huh what is this video um, today I'm gonna teach you how to make a color using a pit controller so many of you have been thinking why if I put why if I put my car right like that for example it will go straight down the hill that's why uh, that's because there is no force which can prevent that to happen so in today's tutorial I'm, I'm going to teach you guys how to make your car crawl uphill and stay there in place so many of you may have made a car in some point of your lives and if you are using apply angular force or engines you have maybe made your car directly get the input from your advanced pod controller if you hit W or S your car will go forward or backwards depending on the button you've chosen today I'm not gonna teach you guys how to do that but instead I'm gonna use my pit controller see that expression to pit controller and if you have happen to see in some of my videos yet you will see what a pit controller really is it's a E2 script or any kind of script for controlling a process variable so here we are defining our error subtraction between the reference and the real output that we are controlling those are our parameters and the satir saturation those thing is really for the pit controller to not raise the output control signal if, if those two are reached this one or this one so we are calculating a control signal temporary value so we can check this thing so it if I matter I have uh, put my my engine like a thousand it, it will break my engine so there's no really point of doing that that's why because I'm setting this saturation to prevent that to happen so if my temporary control signal is less than the lower saturation it will say ha huh, stop the control signal from rising up above the, this value and drop the flag and the next and the same thing for the upper saturation if my temporary control signal is between those two it will go straight to the else now the integral part will be enabled and if we already calculate this control signal it will go directly to the output as you can see and if our pit controller is not powered on it will be zero so to tuning your pit controller there are also many articles in the net so you can say huh where those parameters really come from <laughs> I didn't happen to use some of those articles of pit controller tuning methods instead I rely on my experience of tuning this pit controller so I've tuned many pit controllers in the mode of 
trial and error to finally come to those three parameters here. So, how to you can say, huh? So, if I'm not gonna look at the articles in the net, how can I do my, my PID controller? Well, the pay part is the one that is made, making the control signal rises, rise pretty fast. It works fast. That's the positive thing about the proportional part. Here we can see directly a number multiplied by the error. The integral part is the, the thing that will make your error zero. It will always try to make the error zero no matter what do, do you do. And the differential part is the thing that have to stop the control signal from if it reaches the reference. Today we will that in perspective it should be some kind of heavy hammer that will hit a ball with some mass trying to which is already rolling. Imagine a ball is going straight forward and you're holding a hammer and just snap that ball to stop it from moving. That's the differential part is for. It is the force, the force of that particular hammer that you're holding. So, guys, how can you really wire up the pit controller? So, you got the trust the reference, the thing that you're controlling today I'm gonna use the on comes from the button right there it's the input of power on off our pit controller reference will come from my come on, my throttle the thing that we are controlling today is the RPM of the engine. See that? See my do W engine? We're controlling its RPM today. And the most important part of all is that we are controlling those RPMs using the thrust of the thrusters here. See that? See the thruster? So the thrust goes directly to the control. See that? Thrust from control. And that's all. We are done. I'll provide this script in the description so you guys can also experiment with the, this really easy to make pit controller this thing has really no additional things just a pure simplified pit controller and nothing else so if, if I want to, to power this thing on to see how it's done Oh, it already starts the controlling sequence. So let's test it. Let's put some reference here. Oh, too much. Let's bring it up to the brick too. Click that. Our throttle is 260, which 
would not be 260. Here, 10. Oh, 40, I guess. 40 is fine. But the total of 10 will, will really see what the pit controller is up to. The speed is a constant value. It's controlled by the pit controller script. I can stop like that. And my car will not move. It will stick to the surface. See that? Let's continue our journey. It's so possible because of the pit controller. You can experiment with the script I gave you. Total 40. You can do big crazy stuff like that. Go anywhere I you want. You, and if you put a reference of zero like that, the car will just stop. It will make the engine's RPM to reach zero. To pretty much refer the, the RPM of the engine when you're controlling this. It's pretty neat for crawling and stuff. You can see, huh? Right there. You can do crazy stuff like I'm about to be, I'm about to do. See that? If you use a dual WNS controlled vehicle, you should not be able to do that. So hope you guys like my pit controller tutorial. I hope it is useful for some of you who don't know how to make this thing and actually make it work. So this is the pretty simplified version of the all of the signal tuning pit controllers and all that stuff. Have fun guys and see you next time.